Good morning, everyone. Um, I put Aubrey on the bus and then I just went to the bathroom real quick and now I'm out here in the kitchen by myself today because my sister has today and tomorrow off. So, um, don't have Logan. Don't have Logan. Um, just rinsing out this cup that Aubrey wanted to keep. Um... So I'm gonna get myself some iced coffee. I want like an iced coffee this morning. I made like a thing of hot coffee last night and then I put it in the fridge. Well, I let the coffee sit out and then I put it in the fridge last night. Um, so I'm gonna get myself some iced coffee. Oh, last night I did a Walmart delivery. I got um, some more of Aubrey's milk. I picked up the, I had a couple last night, like the serving size of these sugar-free strawberry um like little wafer things here um i got some more of my atkins like m&ms some more zebra cakes um i did get a bag of let me show you guys um aubrey got into them last night but um the honey barbecue pop chips i got um i got a thing of strawberries a thing of blueberries but also i get aubrey's milk Oh, body wash. What else? What else? What else? Oh, hamburger helper. A box of hamburger helper. I think there was... Let me see if there's anything else that I forgot to show you guys. I think that was it. Let me look. Yeah, box of hamburger helper. Let me see if there's anything else that I forgot to put. Oh, two blocks of cream cheese because um, this weekend coming up is Survivor... No. There's a pay-per-view on Sunday. So Frank and I are going to have buffalo chicken dip. So I got the two blocks of cream cheese for that. And I believe that was everything. I believe that was everything. Oh, and two of my waters. It's the um, blueberry something one. So, yeah. But I am going to make myself an iced coffee and get some breakfast. I'm going to go sit and watch some TV. And I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so it's about 121 now. I'm heating up some leftovers from last night. Hi you guys. Uh, today is the day like I know the whole the whole you guys know my unless you're new to my channel. You guys know my opinion about abortion. You guys know my opinion about it. But I guess there was a paper leaked that they're going to overturn Roe versus Wade. And um, the liberals and the pro-choice people are freaking out today about it. Freaking out. And, um, you guys know my opinion about it. You guys know my opinion. But I do get child support for Aubrey. So before I say this, before anybody says, well, you get child support. And I do get child support for Aubrey. But if her father ever took me to court and said, I don't want nothing to do with her. Well, she doesn't see her having anything to do with her. In general, but what I mean is if he went to court and said, well, I don't want to be a father. I don't want to have anything to do with her. I'm going to sign over my rights. Okay. I wouldn't fight him on it. But a man should not have to be forced to take care of a child, pay child support and take care of a child if he doesn't want to. Because if a woman can go into a clinic and just out with her child because you don't want to be a parent. And I know Sam, people are going to say, well, what about rape and incest and all that? My stance is I don't even agree. I don't agree with abortion for any situation, any situation, because if a woman is, if a woman, if it comes up to a woman dying because of health reasons or her baby dying, they never, there's never a situation where you have to kill your unborn child because of your health. That's when they will do a C-section, get the child out to save you. You should never have to abort a child because of a, a health reason because of the mother. Like I watched this thing about this abortion doctor. He doesn't do them anymore, but he used to do them. And he said that, that if that were to be, to be the situation, they would go in and do a C-section on the baby to get the baby out. Then they would help the mother. And like rape and all that, I know it's horrible, horrible. No person should have to go through that. But there needs to be more, there needs to be stricter laws on rape. They need to put these bastards in jail who raped someone. And same with incest. 
you need to put that person in jail. You do not kill the unborn baby because of what happened to have that baby be here. Like, you don't do that. But that's my opinion, you guys. Everybody has their opinions about it. But that's my opinion. Like, do not call... Like, I understand. Not all women want to be parents. Like, and everything like that. But if you're out there... With, with your partner, no partner. And it, as bad as it sounds, if you're out there sleeping around, not using protection, not using birth control, and I know birth control isn't 100% effective. Like, I understand that. So if you're being cautious, using birth control, doing all these things, wearing condoms, and doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you get pregnant, put your baby up for adoption. Like, I understand there's a lot of kids in adoption, like, in places. And I know maybe not even adoption is really good because... Kids are abused in homes and all this, but, um, but a lot of the cases of a woman going in and like, that, like I said, you guys, this is my opinion. Everybody has their opinion. Most of the cases of women going in and getting abortion is not from rape. It is, but it's only like maybe five, 10% of the people going in. Most of it is just girls, women who are not caring and they're like, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm not, a, I don't want to be a parent. I don't want a kid. And they just go in and kill it. That's mostly what it is. There is, like I said, there is situations where women are raped or incest. And then they go in and, and do it. But most of it is done by women just not caring what they're doing. They're getting pregnant. And they're like, oh, well, I just have the option to go, go kill it. So I'm just going to go kill it. No. Abortion should not be birth control. That's I've heard other people say that too. That abortion should not be birth control. Like you shouldn't be able to just go in and have one just because you don't want a child. No. Absolutely not. But that's my opinion, you guys. Um, I don't really discuss it on here because I know everybody has their own opinion about it. And I'm not going to change people's minds about it. Um, like, But my opinion, they leaked... Whatever paper was leaked, and a lot of the other people are saying this, and let me know if you agree with this because this makes sense, but a lot of people think that that paper was leaked to keep us more divided because you guys know how divided we are right now. So my opinion and what other people are saying is that this paper was leaked on purpose to keep us more divided, to keep us each side still fighting and everything, to keep all this going. That's why it happened. It's definitely why it happened. Definitely. But, oh my goodness, you guys. So, yeah. But I'm going to eat some leftovers. I'm going to put something here on TV. Um, I vacuumed my living room. Um, I was talking to Frank and I talked to my mom. And I had to call for fuel assistance, you guys, because I didn't get approved until just now. And I'm like, well, if it's the usually at the end of April, they whatever you have left, they usually take it from you. Because it doesn't just roll over. They usually take it from you usually. Um, and I was worried about that. And I, I guess I called and they said, well, from November to April, whatever I paid into fuel assistance, they're basically going to put a negative thing in my account. So there's going to be like a balance of whatever I paid from November to April, I guess, is how it's going to work. But... I guess that's how it's going to work, you guys. So I think I'm going to watch some Law & Order SVU here. And then I'm going to go... Oh, I was just... That's what I was doing, you guys. I got distracted while I was on the phone. But I was starting to fold up all of Aubrey's laundry. It's on her bed. So I'm going to eat my lunch. And then I'm going to go put Aubrey's laundry away. Hey, guys. It's 3.06 now. I'm just standing here waiting for Aubrey. I usually just stand here in the doorway. And just wait. When, once I see the bus coming down a little bit, I'll go out and get her. Um, the other day, you guys, I'm surprised I don't have a black and blue right here because the other day, um, it's kind of yellow, but the other day I was laying in bed with Logan and he had butted me on accident and it hurt so bad, but now right here is sore. And like I said, I'm surprised it's not black and blue right here, but it's a little yellow there. So it could have been black and blue the other day, but now it's like yellow, <laughs> but it hurt. <laughs> so... Oh my god, I'm just sitting here waiting for Aubrey to get here because um, I guess the program she goes to in the afternoon, they have a meeting today. All the teachers have like a meeting, so she doesn't have her program today. So she's coming home at regular time, 
So I'm just waiting for the bus. Hey guys, so it's just trying to check how much minutes we have left. Four minutes left on dinner. Um, I have some, ooh, that looks like it could be done. Yes, I think that's done. Definitely think that's done. Hold on, I'm gonna put you guys over here so I can take it out and check. But I definitely think that's done. Let me check. Oh, you guys, look at this. So, um, I have three, back away here, get some hair on the food, but I have, um, three chicken thighs, the chicken thighs I got from BJ's, um, three, and then I had potatoes, I took some potatoes, which potatoes are cooked really too. Let's see. Yeah, they're okay. And then, oh, the carrots are not completely cooked through, but they're still a little hard, but they're fine. Cause it's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eating. I'm sorry. I'm eating it, not Aubrey. So it's not like it's a big problem. And then, um, let me just check the chicken here. Chicken thighs are, I feel like, cooked faster than, like, chicken breasts and drumsticks. Hey, Aubrey! Aubrey! You want rice pilaf with your chicken? You want rice pilaf with your chicken? I'm going to get some rice pilaf in the, in the microwave for her. And I'm going to eat mine with the potatoes. I cut up two small little potatoes into, like, little chunks and put them in the town dressing while they were cooking. And then I peeled two um, carrots and stuck them in there. Um, and then Aubrey's gonna have her rice peel off here. It's just 90 second rice peel off that she's gonna have. But I try and, um, put you guys back over here. I try and squeeze, like, mush it around before I put it in there, or it's all gonna be stuck together. That's how it is in the, in the bag here, is like all stuck together. So I try and mush it before I put it in there. I'm gonna get my plate out. I'm probably gonna only be able to have like one piece of chicken because last time I made the chicken thighs for Aubrey, she ate two pieces. Um, and the one, the bags that we got from um, BJ's come with three in each one. Next time I'll just have to like take out two so that we can both have enough. Um, get the potatoes. Um, let me see here. Looks so good. Aubrey loves like Italian chicken, you guys. She loves Italian chicken. Loves, 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 loves it. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna use her Italian dressing, not mine. Normally I use like fat free. <gasps> oh my God, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Dang, that happens every time. God. They tell you to put it in for 90 seconds and look what happens every time. Oh, it like pops. And then the moment you hear it pop, you gotta take it out or it will go all over. Literally all in the microwave. Aubrey, I'm getting your food right now. Like if you don't take it out right when you hear that pop, it's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> definitely. Definitely, definitely. Oh, it's so good. So I was talking to Frank earlier. And Aubrey was on the phone talking, she was talking to my mom. Put that in here. I've been trying to like low every time I have something to put in the dishwasher today. I've just been automatically putting it in the dishwasher because I didn't have Logan today. So I was able to keep my dishwasher open all day. Um, so I was able to do that instead of having to um, keep it closed because you can't have a dishwasher open when Logan's here. 
just in case he'll try and obviously touch everything in the dishwasher. So couldn't have it open all day. Kind of peel her chicken off here. I love chicken thighs. I know there's like, it's fatty. Like I know it's basically that um, chicken breast is the best chicken to have because it's not as much fat and low calorie and all that, but chicken thighs, Aubrey and I love chicken thighs. We love chicken thighs. Um, I'm going to get her some ketchup. Look at that. This is the one thing that I can really get Aubrey to eat for good food is like chicken and rice. She's such a picky eater. And it's mainly my fault because when we, when she was six months old, me and my mom took her to Disney. We took her to Florida to see my aunt, but we went to Disney too. And I stopped from that moment on, she didn't want her baby food anymore. Like when we were home before our trip, I was feeding her her baby food. And because of me like stopping her baby food and giving her human food when we were in, um, in Disney, when we got home, I didn't push the veggies. Like I didn't push for her to eat veggies, even if it was not pureed and she just didn't eat veggies. So only veggies that I can get her to really eat right now is like, I can get her to eat carrots if it's like cooked into like a stew or a soup, but I can't get her to eat carrots like on the side of your, of her plate. Um, and then she'll only eat like salad. That's like the only thing that I can get her to eat. Um, does this look good, Aubrey? Here you go. Yeah. Don't get on the couch, please, okay? <laughs> I'm going to put some salt in mine here. But like I said, normally she eats two pieces. So I'm going to leave this other piece for her. Leave this other piece for her. And I'll show you guys what I have here. Just going to put my seasonings on it first. Mm. I have to take the skin off first to put the, uh, the pepper underneath the skin. <laughs> Okay, so this is my dinner, you guys. I have chicken thigh. Um, like I said, this is like two small potatoes from Frank over here when I make his potato, his french fries. Just two of them and then literally two long carrots. I literally just peeled them and placed them in the pan. Didn't even cut them up. So this is my dinner, you guys. And I'm not even going to put like any ketchup or anything. Hold on a minute. I'm not even going to put any ketchup or anything on it because the Italian dressing is just enough like juiciness. So we're going to go eat this and I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so it's 11.30 now. I'm in bed. Um, just put Aubrey to bed and I was just doing my own thing, you guys. Watching TV and everything. So, um, yeah, but I'm tired. Super tired, you guys. I set my alarms. Um, cleaned up in the kitchen, did everything that I needed to do. So I don't have Logan again tomorrow. So I'm going to have to make sure I set my alarms and get Aubrey up for school. So I hope you guys had an awesome day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.